what's up guys me or something kind of here today i'm going to be doing a zombie apocalypse hashtag survival kit hashtag i don't have a crazy this is just um my friend got me to do this so shout out to him it's his youtube channel name is indiana connor i think yeah i'm pretty sure it's indiana connor so go and check that out and go and subscribe and like to his channel so yeah so first off we're going to be going over weapon weapons there's everybody a lot of people i've talked to say katanas because they're you know, swords they're silent they're long they're quick they're easy to use all of these reasons and yeah they're good but if you're after if you're trying to stab it in a room with your katana at some point it's gun at you you're not just going to be able to flip and throw the katana at them and slice their head off no like you might hit them in the chest but then they're just gonna go bang and you're dead then whereas if you run at them with a katana and they have a hang on you can just they can just and then you're in the you're on the ground dead with about six bullet holes in your chest and they're taking everything off you whereas if you have a hang on and they have a hang on you can actually put up a fair fight against them so yeah that's just what i wanted to get off my chest Oh, by the way, um, this is also the gun I kind of use. I use an M9 um, Swear Silencer. This is actually my Green Gas Airsoft and M9 Beretta. So, if you want to find out more on that, watch my two last videos. Okay, now um, we need to do full war. You should know by now that you cannot live without full war. It can last a while without food, but not a long time without water. Make sure you bring purified water. That's the most important thing you have in your entire kit purified water and food that lasts a very long time or unperishable okay no medic supplies you get hurt during the zombie apocalypse you're dead it's just simple as that i put my money on you dying even though i'm not gambling but anyways uh yeah so make sure you have a first aid kit with you at all times stuff bandages any bandages plasters pocket and um, pocket masks cpr pocket masks stuff like that and then there's the normal situation that a lot of people actually have what if you need a light of fire but you didn't bring a lighter or anything you can um bring matches you can bring fire starters but what if you have no wood that's that's why i got this off santa it's a fire starter kit you take all of this wool fluffy stuff out you put it down and then you just even the smallest little spark will get this all lighted off Um, yeah so that's me airsoft and connor don't remember don't forget to like and subscribe that's me airsoft and connor out oh.